Welcome to the temporary Holiday Inn setup. Other budget hotels are available. I'm currently in a Holiday Inn. I'm in a Holiday Inn because I'm back at work and I work away a lot. I'm back at work after being furloughed for around two and a half months. It's good to have some sort of normality. It's weird, but it's good at the same time. But unfortunately, this does mean that the content might slow down a little bit, as you might have noticed. Because I can only really film on the weekends. So I've been trying to come up with video ideas that I can film in a hotel room, hundreds of miles away from home. And then this video was suggested to me. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be roasting your MX-5s. I put out to Instagram to see, see who wanted the smoke, you know what I'm saying? And we got quite a few replies. So it's about to get, it's about to get all, all nice and toasty in here, which is very fitting because today, what do you mean? And just a quick disclaimer before we get into this. If your car is in this video, please don't get offended. It is just a bit of fun, we're just having a laugh. Don't take anything to heart. And what kind of person would I be if I was laughing at all your car's expense without laughing at my own? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a video that I filmed at the start of lockdown where I gave Instagram the chance to roast my car. So yeah, uh, after this you can, you can go and enjoy that one. I know I did. Right, that's enough. Onto the roast. First up, we have Tom underscore Dan 97. Right, so right off the bat, you can see that Tom's paintwork is, for lack of a better word, abysmal. Looks like you got a camo wrap off Wish. <laughs> Why is Tom's car looking like a Dulux colour chart? If the paintwork wasn't bad enough, what Tom's done is taken everything that makes an MX-5 great, chucked it all in the bin, and he's got a big heavy lump of a Rover V8 up front. But Jay, engines in swaps are cool and V8 sound good. True, very true, but this is a roast, so we're not gonna think about that, are we? Next up, Oliver underscore Bridges. What are those? Uh, they improve downfalls. The only thing that they are improving is your chances of dying a virgin. Fucking trip hazard. And what's this thing as well about putting an aftermarket tow strap slash tow hook or in Oliver's case both onto your car I really don't understand it it's like saying hey everyone come, come see how unreliable my car is it most certainly does not make it a race car no matter how many IKEA shells you super glue to the front of it at the dot red dot n c ah the mark 3 mx5 <sighs> It's like all the guys at Mazda got into a room and said, right, look, look boys, it's been a while, we need to talk MX-5, we need a new one. So what was it that made the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 so good? Why, why did people love them so much? Uh, they had really good engines. Yeah, yeah, really good engines. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest handling sports cars of all time. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, got that, yeah. Awesome styling, so cute and smiley. Yep, yeah, styling. Um, yeah, fuck all that off. And as for this example in particular, there's not really much going on apart from a couple very ironic stickers. For example, this one. No, it's not. And this one. Superior. How are you gonna put a superior sticker on a Mark III MX-5? Blasphemy. The only sticker that is actually honest is this one. Slow, slow, slow. Next. Up at NB underscore Ollie. Now you might remember that I actually had these wheels on my car for a while and I was also that low on these wheels for a while. Which probably explains why his engine is still standard because anything above 20, you're just gonna break shit. That hasn't stopped him adding many horsepowers in the form of stickers though, has it? Eh? Being able to see out your windows is overrated anyway, innit? Innit? Eh? Innit Ollie? at that Fiji vert. I'd just like to point out that Mr. Fiji felt the need to message me to tell me the car ain't finished yet. No shit. The best thing about this car is the fact that it's not finished yet because hopefully that means it's gonna be locked in a garage and no fucker has to look at it. I hope it's getting a bloody good paint job, pal. It's gonna need it. At Travis Wood 99. First of all, I find your lack of front lip disturbing. If you're gonna body kit it, then at least finish it and two bumper quick releases on the rear bumper why why travis hmm? then again 
I don't suppose you'd know, with it being bought, not built. Private Reg and a set of wheels won't fool me, sunshine. At Cameron Mould. First things first, uh, what is that front plate? The big black box that they come on standard looks better than that, and they're shit. Also, what is this colour scheme? Thanos looking ass. I wish I could snap my fingers and make your car cease to exist. At Project Mazda MX-5. Ooh, rotor grids on an MX-5, how original. And a tow hook, another guy that's strangely open about how little his car works. At Jack underscore Z34 underscore. Our Jack wanted me to roast his old MX-5. Uh, I can see why you got rid of it, Jack. I just feel sorry for the new owners, really. Now, I did receive a lot of messages asking me to roast MX-5s that, to be honest, just, just weren't very special. Just cookie-cutter cars that you just walk straight past it and meet, not even give a second look. They like, they like rice cakes, right? Bear with me. No one walks past rice cakes in a supermarket and goes, Yes! Rice cakes! It's my lucky day, I want them so bad. It's just, yep. They're rice cakes. Because they're bland and boring, just like these MX-5s. So what I thought I'd do, rather than leave you all out, is put all of your plain, rather watch paint drying ass cars into something that I'm calling the basic bitch montage. Oh, and if you see your car in the montage and you're not happy about it, who's really to blame? Hmm? Roll it. So there you have it. Consider yourselves roasted. <laughs> Remember, it is just a laugh. No malice intended. I can appreciate any car, and if someone's taking their time, spending their money on making it their own, then that's only a good thing, if you ask me. Who am I to judge? Eh? Keep doing your thing. Thanks to everyone that sent the cars in, and if you do have any ideas for more hotel roomable videos then make sure you leave them in the comments down below thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on next one sound did i just did i just actually do that what a joker man <laughs>